Hello friends, welcome to Trish Tech Institute and in today's safe storage tutorial series we will be discussing about how you can upgrade a safe storage uh, cluster using Chef Orchestrator and for today's demo I will be using Chef version Quincy that is the latest uh, community edition but similar uh, steps you can follow for even Pacific or Octopus also where you have the Chef ADM and Chef Orchestrator available also this can be followed on the enterprise editions like uh, red hat safe storage or suze safe storage so let's start with the demo so first thing what you need to do while you are starting the upgrade you need to check the cluster status so your cluster should be healthy state if it is not in healthy state you should not start the uh, upgrade so how you can check that let's see so for that you log into your cluster and then you go for safe ADM sale on your admin node or on your monitor node once you're there you just do safe status so you should see health as health okay and also all the OSDs all the more and managers everything all the services should be up and running and all your PG should be in active clean state if any of these things are not proper you should not proceed for the upgrade first you should fix the safe health then only you should go for the uh, cluster upgrade also you can check the safe health uh, detail so that also should show what are the things are wrong if you encounter any health issue so once you are done with the health status checking then you should go for the safe ADM package upgrade so it should be on the latest or whatever version you are planning to upgrade so let's do that so i'll be coming out of safe ADM shell so wh whatever node you have safe ADM, you have to upgrade there so for that you do dnf update chef ADM hyphen yes so you can see that it is uh, refreshing the repositories and it should face the whatever latest version i have so because i am targeting to upgrade to the latest chef version for that i am upgrading also the chef adm to the latest version as you can see it is upgraded to 17.2.5 so that is the latest uh, chef quincy version so chef ADM is done on this node so similarly i'll be doing the same thing for my other two nodes also So you can see in the other node I'm doing so by this I'll be doing for my uh, third node also so I have three node cluster in this uh, test setup so I'm just doing for my third node also you can see my third node also the safe ADM package is upgraded to the latest version that is 17.2.5 so then I'll be proceeding for the next step so next step is uh, to prevent your OSDs from getting marked out during the upgrade or unnecessarily data movement and putting a extra load because during upgrade what happens once one of the OSDs are updated to the latest version uh, chef just restart that OSD so that will bring down the OSD and coming up so because of that uh, it will try to do the uh, movement of the data from that down OSD to the other OSDs to keep all that uh, required availability set and all those things so to that you don't need that so that's why you will prevent the OSDs from getting marked out so how you can do that let's see that so for that what I'll do uh, chef ADM shell I'll go and there I'll do uh, chef OSD set no out so that it should not mark the OSDs out uh, then I'll do no scrub and i'll be setting no deep scrub so these three flags i'll be setting uh, to my cluster so that it doesn't mark out the osds and do unnecessary scrubbing and deep scrubbing during my upgrade process which can impact the cluster and overall upgrade activity once you're done with that then we'll start the actual upgrade process so while doing that upgrade process few things we will do first we will see the what is the current version of our cluster and what are the available versions to upgrade and then we will start the upgradation and then we will monitor the status and wait for the upgrade to finish so to check that uh, first thing what I will do uh, chef uh, then uh, status we will do sorry versions 
to see my current safe version so you can see currently i'm running 17.2.3 and to check uh, the available version so i'll do chef org upgrade ls so once you do chef org upgrade ls it should show what all are the available version you can upgrade to so you can see 17.2.5 and 2.4 that is the higher versions and then 3 2 1 0 so these are the versions that are available for me to choose and perform the upgrade so once you do that then uh, you can check the upgrade so you do chef org upgrade check so either you put chef version hyphen hyphen chef underscore version so you put uh, 17.2.5 that is the latest one i want to do or you put the image name also so i am checking with uh, version once i check with version i will show you how you can check with image version also so it takes some time so you can see it is showing what are the uh, non safe images and what are the safe images what is the current version current id and current name they are using and what will be the target version and target name so instead of shape version you can probably do for image also so for that you do hyphen hyphen image and then you put image name like this so it should also give you similar kind of output like how you saw for while checking via chef version so you can see similar output you are seeing and what all other components it will be upgrading to that particular version so once you check with that and you see that this output is coming and you are allowed to upgrade then you do uh, upgrade start so instead of putting check you put upgrade start either you put the image or you put the version so i'll be putting the image name only so once you do that you will see like initiating upgrade to this particular uh, image version so how you can monitor that that also we will see so for that once you initiate your upgrade you should also be able to monitor the status whether it is going on or it is paused or it is encountering any issue so that we will check here so for that it's very easy so you do chef org upgrade and then you push status so once you do chef org upgrade status so you should see what all services are completed so you can see already mgr is completed two out of 20 demons are upgraded and currently it is upgrading the mgr demon and whether it's paused so false so that means it didn't encounter any error and it is currently going on so that you can see from here also like in progress true and you can see which are the services also it is upgrading so you can see it's upgrading all the demons on all the host similarly if you do safe hyphen s so there also you should see uh, it is going to upgrade to 17.2.5 and there is a progress bar where you can see how much time it is remaining and one more thing keep in mind while your upgrade is going on and if you check the safe status or health status you may see health warning messages uh, not because of only these flags also because of you may see like your some monitor service is down or mgr is down that is fine that is normal because once safe is done with the upgrade of one daemon it restart the daemon to have the latest version so during that time you may see your safe uh, status is in warning but once your upgrade is done it should be back to normal state so you can see it is increasing that progress bar also the status if i go back upgrade status it should see five out of 20 demons are upgraded so this will take some couple of minutes or maybe a couple of hours depend on your cluster size so you need to wait for that and you can monitor using this so once it is done you should not see any output for this upgrade status where it says like it is upgrade is in progress and all and your cluster status should be back to normal in this time if you check your uh, chef versions so you may see double version for mon mgr these two are done so that's why you're seeing 17.2.5 whereas osds are still not done that's why you are seeing 17.2.3 so overall you are having two versions once the entire upgradation is done everything should be on 17.2.5 so as you can see uh upgrade is completed because now if you see for upgrade status 
target image and all is saying null whereas in progress is saying false is paused and all all are false so in this moment if i do chef hyphen s i should see uh my cluster all are upgraded so still health warning is there because of the flags i said so i'll verify the versions so if i do i should see all are upgraded to 17.2.5 so once your entire cluster is upgraded you have to perform the next step so that is removing the cluster flag so you remember right well before starting the upgrade we set some cluster flags like no out no scrub and no deep scrub so now we should remove those flags to complete our upgrade activity from the chef side so the removal is very easy so i'll do chef osd unset no out then i'll do uh, unset uh, no scrub and then i'll unset the no deep scrub so now if i do chef hyphen s I should see my cluster status is back to OK and safe versions are still on 17.2.5. So entire upgrade is done from the chef side. Now only one activity or one remaining task is there and that is very important task. Most of the time people forget that and because of that they face issue in upcoming days and that is they forget to update the clients. So Keep in mind whenever you are upgrading your chef version you should also parallelly upgrade the clients to the same version so in this case we upgraded to 17.2.5 so whatever clients are connecting to my chef cluster so they are also that chef common package should be upgraded to 17.2.5 in my case in my test lab i don't have any client setup so that's why i'm not upgrading but keep this in mind upgrade the safe common package to the same version if you don't upgrade and if you are having obsolete version what will happen after some time that client will be locked out and it will not be able to access the chef cluster and that may create an outage or issue for you to continue your operations so that's all from the upgrade side how you can perform the upgrade what all things to keep in mind while performing upgrades so that you have a successful upgrade activity carried out so hope uh, this is helpful for you and uh, if you like this please press the like button and also share it with your friends colleagues and whoever you know so that they can also come uh, watch this video and they can also learn and uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please press the uh, subscribe button so that you get subscribed to this channel and also press the bell icon don't forget to do that because if you press the bell icon you'll get a notification of upcoming video so that you can watch this video then and then so thank you thanks for your time uh, we'll see you in our next video